Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Paulio Jr. And in today's video, I wanted to go over the difference between a parallel connection and a series connection between two batteries. Now, typically I would use deep cycle batteries, but uh, I'm actually using two six volt batteries here. So there's six volts actually pulled out of like those, um, you know, those little electrical uh, cars that kids drive around and so forth. So both of these are six volts. Uh, one, I believe, has a little bit more amperage than the other. So, yeah, this is 1.2 and... Do, 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 do. Oh, never mind. They're both the same. We're good. So, but they can... Obviously, they can be charged higher, but nonetheless. So, the first thing we're going to do, as you can see, these are six volt batteries and we have our multimeter here. So we're going to test and make sure that this is actually six volts. I'm going to try and do this with one hand. So we see on the multimeter, it, go to, it goes to 6.3, which is good. So the battery is charged. And it's okay if it's charged more than actual than six volts. So the first one we're going to do is a parallel series, and I would with bigger batteries I would be using jumper cables and so forth. But with these guys, all I just need is a really good conductor like copper. So a parallel series is exactly how it sounds. They're just going parallel. So one, so positive goes to positive. And then the negative goes, a negative wire would go to the other negative on the battery. So now what we just created with this is one, still a six volt battery, but now it has, um, the voltage stays the same, but now the capacity is basically doubled here since they're essentially the same exact battery with the same amount of amps involved. So if we look at the multimeter, this is how you would test this, which should be fun with one hand, is you would actually put a negative on, or you'd put, yeah, so here's our positive. Whoop, here's our positive on the one battery, and then the negative on the other battery, and we can see that we're at about 6.48, you know, six around that area. So that is basically one battery that you could use um, on a 6-volt system. So from there, that's where you would have these two connections. Look at this. <laughs> it goes to RV or other system. So that's where you would have that actually going to a different system, to whatever system it is. So obviously <laughs> the connections would be different, but um, you would have um, a, the positive going to the positive on, say it was an RV, and then on the one battery, and then you would have the negative going to the negative on the RV, and as long as the RV was taking six volts. So you could actually do that for obviously smaller systems. But what we want to do now is actually turn this into a 12 volt battery. So this is what we call a series battery. And this is extremely, extremely easy. So we're going to remove both of these, both of these conductors here. And all we do for this is extremely easy, is you put the negative on one battery to the positive on the other battery, like so. And like I said, this is just an example. And since these are such low, this, these don't have a ton of amperage on it. I'm in no danger here of getting electrocuted whatsoever so it would have to be 
a ton of amperage uh, to do anything. So we see our multimeter once again. And in order to test this, we put, we're doing basically the same thing. The red, or the positive on one. Try and just get it in there. And now we have, and now we put the negative on the negative on the other. So positive one on the one battery and the negative on the other one. And now we see that we basically have one battery that is, um, that is emitting 12 volts. So we have 12 volts available. Now, so this is called a series connection. And then um, from there, it would be the same thing. You would connect um, the negative of either one. So you'd have the negative going out to the negative on whatever it was, say it was an RV, and then the positive from the other one going to the positive on the RV, and if it was a 12 volt system. So you obviously wouldn't want to do this and then put it on um, anything lower than a six volt system, anything lower than the 12 volt. So, but it's really awesome that something as simple as that, as just putting a positive on one battery to a negative on another um, doubles as long as they're the same. You could do it on different batteries, but having two six volt batteries and then turning them in to one 12 volt battery. Pretty cool. So, um, yeah, that's really it. Very simple video. Just using these little like toy car batteries as an example. Been testing these out and um, what you call <laughs> with like some solar panels and so forth. Um, and just really quick, I have this is actually a really, really good charger, especially for your car still with me in this video so this is a battery charger that charges um, I'll put a link in the description but it is for a 6 volt and a 12 volt it has a switch here so if we were charging a 12 volt we could just switch it over to that if we're charging a 6 volt we can do it like that so when these batteries are together in that parallel form. So when both of these, how we had them, parallel, it's just positive to positive and negative to negative. So I'm just pulling out, I'm just pulling out wires now. And let's just say we wanted to charge this. All we'd have to do is put the, all we'd have to do is put the positive on one of them and the negative on the, the negative so you could just put it on one battery just like that and that'll actually charge um, that'll actually charge both batteries so uh, just make sure you don't overcharge if it's a 12 volt battery I typically wouldn't go over um, typically would not go over 15 volts would be like the absolute highest so uh, but this thing is actually great I used it um, for a Jeep that I had previously um, when the battery was completely dead all I had to do was plug it in and then obviously put the positive on the positive terminal on the battery and then the negative on the negative let it sit for a while and then I was able to start up the vehicle so, but it's also good if you are messing around with some deep cycle batteries and you just want to make sure that they are fully charged. You can just let them go overnight or just let them go for a couple hours. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed my little demonstration here uh, on parallel series and on parallel <laughs> and the series uh, connections. And of course, my drawing of uh, an RV with windows and wheels. <laughs> so, but um, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one later. Don't forget to check out the battery charger MC1.
later.